This is going to be one of the most awesome NASCAR diecast comparisons ever. Here's Kyle Busch's 2009 Interstate Batteries Toyota Camry. Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again, back with another NASCAR Diecast review. And today, yes, we are taking a, well, we're taking a bootleg time machine travel back to 2009. We're going to be taking a look at Kyle Busch's 09 Interstate Batteries. Oh, my God. Look at that electric wave looking Toyota Camry. And we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison on the 2020 and then the 2009 car. So we're going to be taking a full look at that. Here is a absolutely just stunning looking paint scheme now of course this car is so famous for not only you know being at the finish at daytona with tony stewart but i mean just being one of the most beautiful kyle bush paint schemes of all time you know this is back when you know kyle bush was just on the scene he took the reins over from jj yaley who pooped a duck in the 18 car let's be honest and Kyle Busch was really starting to make a huge name for himself. So over here to the nose of this diecast, you got Interstate Batteries there. I got official battery of Joe Gibbs Racing. And it's, I don't think anyone realizes the, the long-term sponsorship that Interstate Batteries has had with Joe Gibbs Racing. You gotta think about it. They go far back is, what, like 1993, 94 with Dale Jarrett and the 18 car? My God, I mean... In, in a lot of ways, it's like the modern-day STP story, right? It's, you know, the, the years, just the decades that STP was on board with Richard Petty Enterprises. And then you, you look at it from this standpoint. I mean, you got to think about it. From 92 to 2002, 2002 to 2012, now 2012 to, like, whatever, freaking 2020. I mean, it's remarkable how long Interstate Batteries has been allied with Joe Gibbs Racing, you can say the same thing, honestly, with DuPont slash Exalta. So you go over to the nose, this thing was not meant in the box, okay, but it's darn near me. I mean, it still has that gloss, I mean, look at that gloss shade right there, right? It is in very good condition, but it does have a few oopsies right here. So you, this is a paint chip, and this is a paint chip. This is not Action Racing Collectibles fault. You know, uh, the whoever owned the car before dropping it, because I bought it off someone, right? Goodyear Gatorback Mail, I uh, got cop. Uh, Edelbrock, Wicks, Air Filters, got uh, Rebasto, Sunoco, Camry. Oh my god, man, the green on this freaking car. I know it's funny is that the green you see on camera is, it's a whole lot more, I would say, saturated than the, than the green off camera. Because they used a reflective green. They used a, a fluorescent green that when you take this thing out in the sunlight, this thing's brighter than a freaking Easter egg, right? But if it's sitting in your collection collecting dust, it's gonna look pretty pale, and that's what they want. They want a car that when you put it on the racetrack, the thing looks like nothing you've seen in the showroom. And then over here to the left side of this car, and you just got this electric bolt, right? So the, the center of the bolts are white and the outlines are yellow. It is fabulous. Like, this car is so freaking beautiful, bro. One of the best Kyle Busch paint schemes of all time. You know what's funny? My good buddy uh, Race Day 2011 was telling me the other day uh, about this uh, this 124 of this car that he bought. And he was telling me about it, and I'm like, that thing is so freaking beautiful in 124 scale. Thank the good lord above, I got a 164 at least. Uh, so you got Kyle Busch's uh, signature there. You got the uh, Joe Gibbs Racing logo, a nice energy there. You got NASCAR race car, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, Holly, uh, USG, DirecTV, 3M, EA Sports. God, I miss them. Autometer, uh, Denzo, Jags, Mac Tools, Stant, Dow Chemical, Goodyear. I love how the Goodyear blends in with those electric bolts, M&Ms, Doosan, Mac Tools, Food Line, Simeon's Freightliners, uh, Freightliner, and you got Sherwin Williams. Got M&Ms once again over here. I like how the end of the bolt has the M&Ms logo, and it has the end of the bolt with another M&Ms logo. And you got Joe Gibbs racing on the uh, on the bottom right. I love that. Just the red, the white, and the black Interstate Batteries logo. God, that like this car just like if you if there was one paint scheme I could pick out that makes me think of NASCAR on TNT. No doubt about it, 2009 Kyle Busch Interstate Batteries. And then over here to the back end of this car, or the caboose. So of course you got the, the spoiler, the COT wing, painted black. I freaking love COTs. I, I've I probably, probably said it a million times now. I freaking love the COTs. It's, it's my favorite die cast to collect. I'm determined to collect every COT ever made. Ever ran every car. I don't care how what I don't care what generic boondock Sterling Marlin car they ran in 2007. I freaking want it. 
Uh, of course, you got Interstate Batteries right there. Got the Toyota badge there. Of course, you got... Uh, oh, I love that. John uh, 316 right there on the left side. I love that. Uh, of course, you got the 18 on the right side. I, I just... Look at that back in that car. I mean, it almost reminds me of a comic book. But I tell you, man, it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, with a neon green like this, I mean, you really don't have to do much advertising to get some uh, get some notoriety out at the racetrack. I mean, with this with with this bright of green, you really don't have to do much to get noticed on the racetrack. I mean, seriously, they know who you are. They know what color. Like for real, like the Interstate Batteries car growing up to me has always been bright green, and the the Eminem's car has always been bright yellow, right? The Zebra car they ran from whatever 2015 to 2019, that thing belongs in Junior's junkyard, okay? I'll be showing the 22 I'll be showing the 2020 car to compare it to, but that thing was horrendous. This is a real man's die cast right here. This is a beautiful looking race car, man. And some of y'all might be saying, well, die cast buffet, why are you reviewing a car that's still not meant in the package? Because this car is so freaking rare. <laughs> You know, it'd be no sense of me paying $40 just to do a die-cast review, you know what I'm saying? This thing is in still very good shape. I mean, like, just the roof piece, that's a very easy place to scratch, you know, the winglets, etc. Uh, but absolutely, man, what a fabulous-looking race car. Of course, you got the 18 there with the bolts across the roof, and over here on the deck lid, you got every battery for every need. Alrighty, folks, so here is the die-cast side-by-side comparison you've all been waiting for. Here it is. So you got the 2009 Toyota Camry for the Interstate Batteries joint for good old Rowdy Bush, and then you got the 2020 version. Now, the biggest difference, obviously, the green is a little bit of a different shade. This one's more floral. I don't think this one's a fluorescent paint scheme. I think this one is because, like I said, it shows up different on camera, so I can only imagine what this thing would look like in sunlight. So the paint scheme is obviously much more sharper, much more high definition on the 2020. This one's a lot more bold, a lot more, I would say, almost like a, like a comic book look, but I think it's iconic, man. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, I will say the red 18 is just nostalgia lane. I personally would like to see the red 18 on this one. That's just me because I grew up a Bobby Labonte fan. You know, I grew up back in yesteryear, you know. Uh, but yeah, I would love to see that. But what a, I mean, just look at that die cast comparison. That is just incredible. And then over here to the back end of the race car, you can see the Interstate Batteries logo there. Very sharp, of course, on the COT. And then you can just see how this one has much more of a detailed, you know, uh, electric bolt pattern. But I think they're, they're, I think, honestly, they're both beautiful in their own ways. I really like that. Of course, I really like that I Am Second logo there. It's really cool. Uh, but I mean, it's crazy, man. I grew up. You know, collecting, you know, the Gen 4 cars, and then I got into the COT cars, and then now I'm collecting the Gen 6, but I tell you what, man, my heart's staying with that Gen 5 COT, babe. And then over here to the right side of this die-cast comparison, I would I would love to see a little bit of red, I'm not gonna lie, on the 2020. I would love to see a little bit, maybe like a red outline on the Interstate Batteries logos, maybe a red 18. I think that'll look phenomenal, but I still believe this is the die-cast of 2020 is his Interstate Batteries car. And I do believe if he doesn't run it every year, it's going to be a very, very collectible Kyle Busch car years from now but i mean just both of them are just legendary man and then over here to the nose of this car obviously you still got the little two chips there but i mean just look at the drastic difference you know you know the splitter on the 2009 might be a little bit more three-dimensional but i will say it's honestly kind of more cleaner than the 2020 with that weird chrome strip there i much prefer the gen 5 nose over the gen 6 but that's just me that's just me. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. And then over here to the roof of this die cast comparison, you got the, the 2020 up top, you got the 2009 down bottom, but you could just see the green, because this is a full wrap, right? This is just a, a shot of green with the lightning bolts on. This is a full wrap car. Sure, they painted it green, but all those little, uh, you know, crevices of the lightning, you know, and the shading, that's, that's not paint. Really a phenomenal looking comparison. I mean, just wow, bro. And you can even see over here, you got the, the deck lid and... You know, it, you know, it, it, it's funny how the more things change, the more they stay the same. And Kyle Busch paint schemes, in my opinion, are they're, they're second to none. They they truly are. I'm not even a Kyle Busch fan myself, and I buy so many of his freaking diecasts because they're second to none. I mean, they're beautiful. I mean, 
absolutely beautiful. Like this right here shouldn't say outrageously dependable. It should say absolutely beautiful. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, give the video a huge thumbs up. Helps out the channel tremendously. I'll see you all in the next diecast review. What an awesome diecast comparison. Hope you have an amazing day out there, of course. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my, my new NASCAR diecast reviews at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Of course, all leading up to the NASCAR Dolas Cup Series 2020 Daytona 500 on August 2nd, July 30th, be in the duels to set the field. With all that being said, folks, hope you have an amazing day out there. Diecast Buffet, signing off.